In this video, I'm going to discuss the power of believing in yourself, why you should, and what happens when you don't. So if you have an issue with believing in yourself, make sure to stick around and watch the full video. God has an assignment for everyone. Before you were born, God already knew your ending. And he knew the different challenges and the things that he had set for you to go through in order to get to the place that he has called you to. You have to believe in yourself. The reason why I have started creating videos about loving yourself and building your self-confidence and low self-esteem is because I have struggled with it all of my life. And now that I am overcoming it, I can see what a hindrance it was to me and how it has kept me from becoming the woman that God has called me to be. Not believing in yourself and having low self-esteem is not anything new. People back in the Bible days even had some of the same issues that we are going through now. For example, Moses. Moses had a problem with believing in himself and he also had low self-esteem. And the reason why is because he had a problem with his speech. When God appeared to him and told him that he wanted him to go to Pharaoh and to tell him that he want him to let his people go so that they could be free to worship him. Moses didn't have confidence in himself. He didn't believe that he had what it took to even tell Pharaoh what God had told him to tell him. Even though God tried to comfort him and to even let him know that he is the God that created everything and that he can do anything. Even though God tried to ensure Moses and to let him know that he is with him. And he would tell him what to say. Moses didn't have the confidence in himself to do the job. And God seen that he couldn't convince Moses to believe in him, just to put all his trust in him and don't focus on his disability. God got aggravated with Moses because he wouldn't trust him. So Moses asked God, why not get someone else? Then God told him to get his brother Aaron. So once I read that story, what bothered me about that story, even though Moses went to do what God told him to do, but he didn't do it himself. He had more confidence in his brothers. So God told Moses what to say, and Moses told his brother what to say. And when I think about Moses, how that if he just would have put his confidence in God, and to know that if God gave him that assignment that he already had in him, what it took to do the assignment, how that if he just would have done it the way God told him and to tell Pharaoh himself, I'm sure it would have freed him from having low self-esteem. It would have transformed his life. When I think about Moses' story, I think about myself. I was the same way. Whatever talent or gift that I had, I didn't value it because I didn't think that I was good enough. I always would refer someone else instead of myself. I know how to sing. I'm not a professional singer, but I can't hold a tune. My mom lived in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and she was also a pastor. Whenever I would go up there to visit and go to her church, I knew that she was going to call me around to sing a song. And even though I knew that, I can remember wishing that she wouldn't ask me to sing a song at church because I didn't feel qualified and I felt that it was always someone in the audience that could do a better job. I lost my mom on July the 19th of 2020. I have so many different regrets and one of the, the regrets I have is that I wish I would have seen myself the way that she saw me. I wish that I would have sung every time she asked me. Every so often, I think about my mom, and if she was living today, I would sing to her every day. So the reason why I share that story with you is because I want to encourage you to don't waste your gift and don't let your low self-esteem stop you. You just have to learn to start believing in yourself. Once I started believing in myself, I became better, and I started even enjoy singing it was hard for me to sing, not because I didn't like singing, but I felt like I wasn't good enough. And I allowed Satan to control my mind. I have been doing praise and worship now at my church 
for three years. And I can say that when I first started, I still had those negative voices in my head. But as I learned to block out those voices and not to believe them, that's when I became free. And the problem is that I believe those negative voices. The mind is very powerful. And it, even though this is a popular saying, but it is true, whatever you believe, you do become. So you have to watch your thinking and to make sure that you don't believe those negative voices in your head, because if you do, they will control your life. And you would never walk in freedom. You would never be able to do what God created you for. And now I can say that when I sing, I am relaxed, I am confident, and I am able to just to meditate and worship God as I sing. Freedom feels good. And I pray that if you have the same problem as I had, that you receive God's freedom too. In order for you to grow and in order for you to become the woman that God wants you to be, you have to start believing in yourself. Whatever assignment God has given you, do it. Don't just do it, but give it your best. I have a question for you. Do you have a problem with believing in yourself? If so, what is your main struggle? If you like my message and you want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I have a Facebook group called Text with Flow, and it's all about self-development. So if you are a woman and you want to improve yourself, come and join my Facebook group. I would love to have you. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.